going on, my super sandwiches? Rhyme style here, and today we're bringing some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And before I start, gotta get my announcements out of the way. So, uh, I was sitting here talking to Nano with the release of the brand new summon animations, as well as the newest update in the Japanese version of Dokkan, which, by the way, it is coming to global at some point. I assume we'll probably get a lot sooner than later, but it is coming out. I saw a lot of people asking whether or not this is gonna come out on global, and it is. Just patience. Don't know how soon. I feel like we'll probably get it for the 30th anniversary, but I don't really know. Uh, we'll see how soon it comes out. Hopefully, a lot sooner than later, like I said. Now, uh, me and Nana were talking about doing a dual summon on the tech banner. I said no. I don't want to do it. Just due to the fact that it's a tech banner, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, we would do an LR dual battle trying to get either tech Goku or LR Goku Black. And uh, I think it'll be a fun video. However, I feel like because of how outdated this banner is, no one really wants to see it. So if you personally would love to see something like that, I need to see that feedback right now. So in the comment section below, either leave a like and a comment or both. And let's see what you guys say. Um, I'll check this video out in a couple days and then see where the standings are as far as, you know, the feedback. I wasn't going to jump back to this banner because I was waiting for the new Tech Goku banner to go live. And I found out that it's actually coming out next week. So because of that, here I am doing this video instead. Because really, I just want to kind of dive into the brand new summon animation and see what happens. So without further ado, let's make sure that everything is still good and recording and nothing's going to screw up. So here we go. First summon, we got Vegeta and Yamcha there. Don't know why they brought Yamcha, but that's fine. We're going to pull back and fire it up. Um... I assume if the fusion happens, it would happen in the beginning, right? Yeah, I have not seen many videos on it yet, so outside the, the Twitter vids that I saw, uh, which happens so fast every single time. So, first summon is going to be Imperfect Cell to kind of start off. I'm going to jump into another one, and then we'll do the multis here in a second. Just to kind of warm up and make sure everything is good as far as recording. My audio stamps are good. Here we go. So again, if you guys really want to see that dual summon uh, for basically... LR Goku Black and Tech Goku, this is your chance to speak out. I just, I, I feel like no one really wants to see that just because the banner is so old and outdated, no one really cares. But again, I might be wrong. So, let's see what you guys want. Uh, I'm not going to set a like, I am. How about this? If we get to 5,000 likes, I think that'll be a solid number to start it off with. 5k likes, we'll make it happen. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the actual multi summons here and see what we can walk away with in this video. I ideally would love to see. The fusion animation because again that would be game changing uh i've only seen it like once or twice like i said usually only on twitter uh i would love to see a super saiyan god animation as well super saiyan 3 ah just super saiyan 3 i think after um super saiyan 3 is when you have the possibility of seeing super saiyan god so uh that would have been cool to see but i guess not yet it's fine we still got five more multis left in the video so uh maybe it could happen at some point and don't, don't cheat by looking down and seeing if it's in the comments, because usually people will po post all the uh, the timestamps in the in the comment section to let you know whether or not something good happened there. Not that I, I don't mind those comments, uh, it's just if you want to be surprised, you gotta, you gotta watch the whole thing. If you are impatient though, then I guess feel free to scroll down and see what the top comment says. They always have the timestamps if there's anything in there. Uh, but it's more fun this way. You never know when an LR pops out like right now, right here, Cena naturally, or I guess Bardock. Tina naturally, it's a lot more exciting to find that out as opposed to knowing that the spoiler is going to happen. I mean, who wants to look at spoilers before you jump into whatever you're watching, whether it be anime, movie, cartoons, whatever. You got to experience it firsthand, you know, from start to finish. At least that's how I think about it. You know what they should do? For a second, I didn't recognize what that silhouette was. You know what they should do with these tech banners uh, or the type banners in general? Uh, they should take all tech types that were released at some point and toss them in there. At least like the older ones. So, like, for example, like tech angel goku tech beerus stuff like that because those units while they're cool and great and awesome they're so old and outdated that there's no reason why they shouldn't be in these and that would also be another reason why you, why you want to jump into these banners because it gives you another chance to get those units you didn't get before then again i guess that doesn't make uh the dokkan festivals as special anymore does it i don't know something else you could potentially discuss down below and again the more feedback there's around this video the more i know to do this again okay we got vegeta this time do we need vegeta for the fusion to happen so we got Super Saiyan, no fusion. So how about Super Saiyan? Oh, no, Super Saiyan one. Yeah. Is it a screen break? No screen break. Well, it doesn't matter because Super Saiyan one doesn't mean anything anymore because every every multi summon is a guaranteed SSR. So you can get an LR here in the third spot right now, right? No, just kidding. Just actually 17. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I feel like if you get SSJ one, you don't get an SSR at all until you get to the last summon. I might be wrong here. So let's see what happens. So far, I think the last time I did a summon video, uh, obviously I got SSJ1, which kind of annoyed me. Uh, but it did have an SSR in the end, because again, every multi-summon is an SSR. But I can't tell that if that animation... Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't. There we go. Disproven. Disproven right now. We got the boo-boo, the boo-boo Tech Vegeta over here uh, in the middle of the summon animation. Okay, so basically SSJ1 is non-existent anymore, which I'm okay with. I hated that animation. 
There's nothing more ball busting than throwing in 50 stones only to see you're going to get a guaranteed crap. Which is another thing that kind of throws me off with the LRs. Like, I love the fact that when an LR pops up, it's so surprising. Ugh, go on, Icarus. I hate this card so much. It's so surprising, but now that we have like a guaranteed LR summon animation, I feel like it does kind of spoil it. Cause like, you know you're gonna get an LR. It's like, yes, it's exciting. What's it gonna be? But then it's like, what if you just didn't know what's coming at all, and then it pops up like right at like, let's say you got an SSJ one animation and with the screen crack, or an SSJ two animation, or even SSJ three before the update, and then you see the LR pop up. It's like, ugh. It's just like you can feel it in your heart. Like that's a hype it is. Whereas now it's kind of like, well, you know, whatever. Okay, let's jump to the next one. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Uh, like I said, personally, I love the animations, everything they've done so far. We got Gohan, Shao Tzu, uh, Kit Trunks there. Instant SSJ. Uh, can we go all the way up to God this time? No! Just Super Saiyan 3 again? Come on! Oh my gosh. I really wanted to wait for the tech banner to, call, to go live so I can see all these animations because it'd be a lot more exciting than going for these older units. But again, if an LR pops up, you know what happens. <laughs> it's gonna be excitement, especially with Goku Black and Ted Goku, which are like amongst my favorites right now. Um, I would not be opposed to getting Goku maxed out. And I also would not be opposed to getting another Ted Goku because uh, I have no dupes, obviously. I mean, it took me long enough to get one. You guys were there for that. It was awful. And if you're new to the channel, basically what happened was uh, Nano cursed me. I blame Nano 100% for that. Nano cursed me when Ted Goku came out. He pulled him immediately, and then I could not pull him at all over the course of the next six months. Literally, it took six months to get it. So, yeah, that, that I think, is all Nano's fault. Um, so, if you want to go rewatch that pull, by all means, go for it. But uh, we could also probably get it right here. No, instead we get Kid Boo. I used to hate this kid, uh, this tech Kid Boo because he used to pop up so much. And while a lot of you guys have been saying for longs, Buff Boo, which is what he awakens into, was cool, I never cared for him. I just never really cared for him. Also, something else that I saw on, on, I saw on Gaming Claw's channel, you can also get a fake out where like it shows a unit and then it turns into an LR. I would not, you know what? I'd rather see that in this video. How about this? Next multi summon. Uh, RNG Gods. If you're watching this video, IRL around me, I need you to make that happen right now. Uh, I feel like with Piccolo and Chelsea, it's probably not going to happen. Who knows? All right, we got instant SSJ action. Can we go all the way God on this one? Let's see how far this goes. Nope, just SSJ2. Can we get the fake out? I, I don't know if there's any pre-animations needed, and if you know, feel free to let me know down below. I don't know if there's any pre-animations needed with seeing, um, uh, like, something pop up that lets you know that there's going to be a fake out. But I guess we'll find out, uh, I guess, over the course of the future of Dokkan. Probably not in today's video. I'm going to be real with you. But it'd be cool to see it, though. But I feel like it's also not going to happen. Not, not so easily. Uh, if you want to go see it, go to Gaming Claw's channel. Like I said, it happened in his video. Uh, day one, he pulled LR Mighty Mask on a single summon off the, the ticket banner. Um, where it literally turned into a, it was like a rare unit and then it turned into an LR, which is amazing. But, from the looks of it, <laughs> you're not, you're not gonna really see that here. You're not gonna really see that here. I'm like really, really focused on, on, on the gameplay in front of me to see if it actually pops up, but mm, no. It doesn't. It happens really, really fast too. It happens really, really fast. So I feel like it doesn't happen in the beginning, it won't happen at all. And I think this is the GSSR here, right? Or is there one more? GSSR? That was GSSR, unfortunately. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. This is another reason why I don't want to do this banner because I just <laughs> basically spending 300 stones on units like this. It's like really with Ted Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku coming out like next week. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to see. Okay, we got uh, Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks, base form, Fuse. No, go go into Super Saiyan. Maybe you can go all the way up to God this time. Go all the way up. Ah, just Super Saiyan 2 again. Come on! The Dokkan Shaft is real right now. The Dokkan Shaft is absolutely real. Let's see. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? I haven't seen that unit in so long, I actually forgot the silhouette. There's a lot of silhouettes you forget with banners like this. Tapion, that's one that I didn't forget because he's kind of more recent. Uh, and he's also really, really decent too. Because he's more recent uh, as far as releases. So obviously, it fits a lot more in today's meta than like back in the day, like that freaking Tech Goku. Or <clears throat> Tech Vegeta. Not Tech Goku, Tech Vegeta. Shout to something fire. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, it might change. No, it's not gonna change. It's just a Spopovich. Uh, great Sandman. My absolute favorite Gohan said nobody. Just kidding. I know some of you guys do exist out there that do actually like that Gohan. I don't know why, but big shout out to you guys. I actually forgot King Cole was added in this game. It kind of threw me off there for a second when I saw that silhouette. Uh, I hate this Gohan so much. And that's the last one. All right. Great. 
You know what? I'm, yeah, let's see how this goes. Because I might actually do five more singles in the end to push my luck and see what happens. But maybe the last multi is going to be fire. We got uh, Yamcha, Tian, and Chaozu there. Fuse! Ah, I transformed. Right? Okay, so can we go God? Are we after God? No! Super Saiyan 2 again! Garbage! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. I, 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 tr I tried my best there. I tried my best there. But again, if you guys do want to see that dual summon, where we come back on this banner again, like I said, it's, it's an old banner. It's not really that interesting, but it could be a fun, fun video. Like I said, get to 5,000 likes on here, and we'll make it happen. How about by this weekend? So you're watching this today on Wednesday. Uh, wow, double rattles back to back. Uh, you watch this on Wednesday. If there's enough support between now and end of the weekend, what the hell is that? Oh, I forgot about him. Um, we'll we'll do it for the weekend. How's that? How's that sound? Good idea. Great. Let me know down below right now. Uh, we got Dildo Frieza and Trunks. Is that the GSSR or is there one more? No, it's more. Fire. Just kidding. Now we got the fire right here. Oh, we just got Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Okay, it's fine. Still got enough to do. You know what? Let's just let's enter the multi. Let's enter the multi. Let me grab some more stones because I think I have some more credit left over. So I'm gonna jump in, uh, grab some more stones, and then we'll we'll end the video like that. And I'm just kidding. So I thought I had enough actual credit in my iTunes account to get enough uh, stones to do one last multi. But unfortunately, I was off by like 500 yen, and to order yen in the middle of the video takes a lot of time. So I figured let's do some single summons. It was all crap. What I am gonna end the video with right now is one last multi summon. It's gonna be the best one in the video because we're about to see something cool right now. All right, we got Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks, Rainbow, Fuse. Okay, no fusion, right? Fusion would happen before that. God. Ah, oh, that was so close. That was so close. What, what, what's it gonna be? And there's your LR. <laughs> there's your LR. Uh, what else is here? Uh, you know what? I'll do one more. I'll do one more at the end. Uh, two LRs. <laughs> Oh, I'll never forget the first time I was hunting for the androids in this game, and I pulled them in a friend summons. I think back then the rates for them were even a lot lower than they are right now. Theoretically, that might have changed. But uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. Let's do one more to see if I can trigger Super Saiyan God, or at least the Vegito fusion. Come on, game. You could at least fuse for me. Now we know that if they, if you do get an LR, you don't necessarily need that fusion to actually happen. You can get any animation and then have the LR pop up, which is cool, because it does leave that surprise element there. Uh, nothing there, Super Saiyan 2. Let me just click actually pass this and then we'll do one more. Yamcha, no one wants you. We'll do one more at the end there. And that's gonna be the end of the video, unfortunately. But again, if you guys do want to see that dual summon between me and Nano uh, later this weekend, then this is your chance to speak up. So 5,000 likes, uh, leave comments down below and we got you. Last multi summon in the video. I can't believe I'm doing a friend summon in the video in 2018 and it's a dud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video right here. Unfortunately, no new animations yet outside of seeing the LR pop up when you saw the Andros pop up there. Uh, but it's kind of expected. I mean, to kind of force an LR to pop up in a summon video, it's not exactly easy. Um, but maybe it'll happen in a dual summon. So, again, if you want to see that, let me know down below and we'll take it from there. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed us today. My name is Rhyme Style. I'm going to end it on this here to see if anything pops up. One last. Nope, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.